Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hi there everyone and welcome to a very important lesson. In this video, we're going to learn how to highlight the active rows in which you're looking the data for. And this is going to help you avoid the hassle of going back and forth in the rows to check whose data you are looking at. So for example, if you're looking at 64,000, so you can see that the whole row got highlighted and it was very easy for me to find out that it was Mr. Williams data. So let's jump in without further delays into how we have to create the highlighting in the active rows. So here I have a similar sheet in which the active rows is disabled. So the first step is going to be click on control A so that the whole worksheet is selected. Once this is done, you got to go to the home tab and in the home tab, there is a section of styles containing an option of conditional formatting. Click on it, go to new rules. And once this pop-up appears, select the last option which says to use a formula to determine which cells to format. Once you click on it, it demands a formula to be applied. So you've got to follow and add the same formula which I am adding, which is equals to row, bracket open and close, equals to cell, bracket open with opening quotation marks, row, quotation marks close, and then bracket close. Once this is done, you go to format and you select any color you want. If you want something catchy like yellow or red, that's entirely optional, but I would rather go with pastel colors, which is the peach one. Click on OK. And once you click OK, you can see that your one whole row is highlighted. But what about the rest of them? Don't worry. What you got to do is go to the sheet, right click and go to view code. Once you go to view code and you click, this sort of worksheet might appear in front of you. If this worksheet doesn't appear, then you will have something like this, which is a journal. So you can simply go to this drop down, click on worksheet, and just between the end sub and the private sub, you got to add target.calculate. So once you've done this, close the tab, close this dialog box, and now whenever you select on any row, you're going to see that the row gets highlighted. That was all for this lesson. I hope it proves helpful for you. Thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.